Hi Cancers, and welcome to your November 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And I am really embracing you as you come into this trying and defining month of your experience, uh, really finishing off 2018, facing things, you know, not afraid to face things. I feel like you truly are fearless coming into this month, Cancer, and I feel that this month requires you to be so. I think that out of what I've seen for you this year, that this month is definitely um, the most defining. Uh, you never know. I guess December could possibly be even more so, but um, I know that some of these cards that are coming up are looking a little bit heavy and a little bit uh, painful, perhaps, but I think that this is so necessary for you. I feel directly as I'm getting into your energy that Cancer is facing the necessary and looking deeply and looking clearly at who they are, what they want, what they're doing, and who is with them and who is for them right now. And I feel that you have such a bright outlook on this and such an ability to see the truth, to see the reality of situations, and to provide warmth. You know, you have the sun as your central theme, so beautiful, you know, on top of some of those more um, austere energies coming up. You are really facing anything that could be difficult with warmth, vibrance, and truth in November, and I feel like this is so beautiful for you, and as we get into some of these deeper messages, do remember that it all has to do with the truth. It all has to do with honesty. It all has to do with facing things with warmth and beauty and um, benevolence in some way, and anything that comes up this month in November which doesn't feel easy or doesn't feel dignified or doesn't feel respectful in some way or is just difficult it is all to align things in your life to where they are warm and easy once more as you probably are aware cancer we do have a venus retrograde this month and i feel like this is strong for you it is in scorpio the venus retrograde so it's uh your fellow water sign who is uh being activated in that way and uh scorpio energy for cancer it's nice but it's too deep it's too um it's too too refining for cancer sometimes. So you can see that the way that you're feeling about your relationships is uh, almost insatiable, or it's not really easy to solve some of the problems that are coming up. Things just feel like absolutely overwhelming and overarching. It's like you're looking up at some of these things that are going on. You see this other person in your life who you really love, but it's like, am I really ready for this? Is this something that I can really commit to? Is there something here that's so like deeply painful that I can't really be in this person's life without sharing in that? Um, you are being connected to people who are going through a lot right now, I feel. You're having to shoulder burdens for other people, perhaps, um, especially if you're uh, around a lot of Scorpios in your life or around a lot of people who are Scorpionic in some way. You will see that it might be a lot to handle, especially coming from October. I feel that October showed you something about uh, who you're with or the people that you're around that may have been perhaps a deal breaker in some way, or it may have um, uh, given you some amount of pain or betrayal that really makes you rethink what you want in the future. Uh, it doesn't feel that things have gone too far. It doesn't feel like you have to, you know, give all or nothing at this point in time or decide whether or not to walk away, but it is going to be important for Cancer to see what the dynamics in Cancer's relationships are, um, what the dynamics give and take from Cancer. That Six of Pentacles just really keeps jumping out at me. Um, as well as the Three of Swords, you know, that first week is strong. Um, so you are really thinking about how happy am I with the people that are in my life? Uh, what do the people in my life give me? Do they make my heart feel accepted and warm or do they kind of um, hurt my heart in some way? How does your heart feel coming into November Cancer? It's going to be really important to reflect on that and see w what that is for you. Um, what is what does your heart want right now? Because it does feel that cancer has had to go against themselves in some way. I get like this, um, yeah, kind of heavy feeling that there's something that you want, but that you're not giving yourself, um, perhaps out of loyalty to other people, or perhaps um, out of fear of losing control of yourself, you are holding back in some way. To me, that feels like that combination of Six of Pentacles and Three of Swords energy. Like you see a lot of potentials to make 
uh, big deals or big issues out of circumstances that are in your life right now, and you're holding back. You're like, okay, I could say my truth here, but this could actually um, really reverberate in my life in a negative way I'm not going to say it and you end up like not saying your truth and then with like that seven of swords energy like people get away with murder in your life like that could be for some cancer so make sure that you are being honest and you are speaking your truth in in a full sense because the sun is your central theme this month and anything but honesty will not suffice um, and it's not even about like lying so it's it's not I, it's not that I feel cancer specifically lying about things, but I feel them to be afraid of what their transparency would bring onto others or how it would affect the dynamics that they have. So let it be known that with that beautiful Ace of Cups in your reading as well, um, any type of need to tell the truth or any type of need to do what's right for you is rewarded thoroughly and also brings you closer to those who you love in your life. Um, it's going to be important to be honest and important to be transparent. It's more of a transparency than it is an honesty, actually, because I don't feel cancer to be trying to hide things, but I feel cancer to be a little bit afraid of being, you know, 100% transparent just because you don't want to create problems in the lives of others. Um, it's going to be important to create those problems if they're existing on behalf of your truth. You know, it's going to be important to create problems in the people who are around you's lives if your truth creates them because they need to go if they can't handle your truth. Cancer can be choosy, you know, about like its words. It can be like picky about like, okay, this relationship is in my life. I need to keep it safe and secure. Therefore, I'm going to make sure that I cater my presence, my existence within that relationship to be what makes the relationship secure. How can I serve the relationship? How can I... Uh, not take away from myself, but because cancer likes to serve, especially if you've got some like Virgo in your chart. I've learned this about cancer recently. It can be a sign that needs to nurture others and needs to give. Um, but make sure that that giving doesn't mean sacrificing your truth. Like, okay, this person doesn't like this aspect of my personality. I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist to serve them. There is an opportunity to become a bit codependent in November, I won't lie. Lots of cards that represent codependence. Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, um, all in that first half. So the second half of November is something completely different. You know, Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Wands. Um, that's going to be so much easier. That's going to be like also when Jupiter goes into Sagittarius. So I'm really excited to be making that video, by the way. I hope that you guys will get to see it when it comes out. And if you're watching this video past like November 4th or 5th, it should already be out. Um, I'll try to link it below once I make that video. But anyway, second half of November, once Jupiter goes into Sag, feels much easier. That's also when Venus goes direct as well. Um, so things get so much easier in the second half of November. If you can do the things that need to be done in the first half of November, shake the people who are really causing you problems. Um, eh, that's kind of a hard thing because I, I, I see two possibilities for most cancers and it's quite black or white like either you're going to stay and connect with people who have been causing you a little bit of stress lately or you're just going to go like there's like no in between which might be a good thing but also maybe interesting to think about how we can be less volatile this month in a way but you know it's going to be so dependent on your own individual circumstance uh really make sure that you're honoring your truth that that's just what it keeps coming back to over and over again on one hand of course, you can't stay in a situation where you have to sacrifice your truth to serve someone else, but also, do you have to? Is it really necessary to sacrifice your truth? Is this person actually capable of it, but you're afraid of your truth too? That's the crux of this, really. Like, of course, you need to go the other direction in a relationship, like, you know, out of the relationship. If someone requires you to sacrifice your truth and requires you to serve them by martyring yourself in some way you have to go at that point in time but also make sure that you know that that's the case and that you're not just afraid of your truth too like i'm kind of scared to see this person's reaction to my truth i don't think they'll like it so i'm just going to put the whole thing out of its misery and walk the other way make sure that you've had a proof a direct proof that um people that you're with need you to be bad to yourself to be good for them okay quite complex quite complicated 
Um, but I've seen so clearly for all the water signs, like myself included as a Scorpio, it's not a good time for subtleties. It's not a good time to be reading people's signals or reading people's like um, subtle messages and you know, basing your actions on that. What a great time to be direct and to be um, blunt about things so that we really know what is at stake here and what the truth is because big tragedies can happen in November, especially with Jupiter changing sign, moving from Scorpio to Sagittarius. I've seen that the Scorpio Sagittarius cusp can be um, spontaneous to a fault. You know, it can be even a little bit manic at times. It can think, okay, I've been in this difficult relationship. I've been in this difficult circumstance. I'm going to cut it all off and, you know, move out of it to a different country and start this career here and um, change my appearance and like all of these crazy things. Um, so watch out, especially for those of you who are on like the Cancer Leo cusp, because Jupiter moving across the Scorpio Sag cusp will trine you specifically, as well as when Venus goes direct, it will move through Scorpio. And uh, around the similar time that the sun moves from Scorpio to Sag, Venus will be moving towards that cusp as well. So there's going to be a big injection of like Scorpio Sag energy, which could lead you to be a bit impulsive. Watch out for impulses. Make sure that your impulse is based on a direct fact. You've got to be like a bit equational, a bit formulaic here. You find a fact, you see like the specific truth that's been directly understood. Then you can proceed to follow through on the impulse. But not so great to be like, okay, I love you so much one day and then the next day be like, um, I've decided after a really long time that this is not right for me and I've... And, and this could like relate to your career or your health or anything. But like sudden choices that feel like really... Uh, thought upon for a long time when just like in the previous day you were talking about how great the situation is watch out for that type of volatility and i would recommend a bit of like stagnation actually in response to that and not like a uh, sudden decisions for sure but anyway super long intuitive messages cancer um but there is something else coming forward and that is um after you've seen what happens in the first half of november follow through with love in the second half of november Follow through with love and follow through with benevolence for all. Like, this isn't a time to be hurting other people to prove yourself. Because I feel you to be so scorpionic, it's actually interesting. Um, it's not a time to be unloving in any way. So you get, like, that Ace of Cups. You, like, pass uh, the middle of November. You have, like, the sun there. And you have, like, Knight of Wands reversed. And all of that, like, really wonderful, abundant, like, nice energy. Like, kill them with kindness is what I'm hearing. Um, don't feel like you've got to, like, go down in, like, a, a, a shade of glory or something, you know? Like, you've got to really claw your way out of someone's life if something does happen. Kindly exiting if it's necessary does um, become very important. So I, I know that I've sort of, this whole entire time, been speaking about, like, exiting and leaving. So uh, is November a month of breakups for cancer? Is November a month of like quitting the job or making a big change? It can be for many of you. But more importantly, it's a month of seeing directly what relationships or jobs actually represent and making a logical decision based on that. Um, it's not going to be a month where people really try to leave you, I don't think. Everything is really in your control. You have a lot of control over many of the aspects of your life right now. And to maybe have that suddenly makes you want to use it in some way. But I would definitely just think clearly about impulsive decisions or I've got to go, you know. Um, there is codependence in a lot of your lives. Some of you may be taking, be some of you may be being taken advantage of right now. Um... And in which case, if that's the direct truth, of course, you have to make that decision. And I don't mean to sound repetitive here, but you have to see that that is the direct truth and not the truth that you need. Seven of Cups reversed. Sometimes we're seeing things to be what we need them to be, to fuel our own energetic things, not as they actually are, which is okay sometimes, but it doesn't lend very easily to people being very forgiving of cancer if they're like um, really... Uh, tumultuous right now and making tumultuous decisions and like regretting them. I also see some of you like maybe breaking up with someone and then like three days later you need them back in your life um, or vice versa. Like you need someone really bad and again you're talking about like how much you love them but then like you want to be gone. So volatile. Yes. How do we face volatility? With humor, laughter. I've, all the cancers that I've been working with 
individually lately, um, humor and laughter have been the most important things. Like that has pretty much been the solution to all of their problems um, in some way is to find the humor in their life and to not get so hooked. I talked about this last month for Scorpio, like not being so hooked by people and not being so accountable to the vulgar necessities of other people. Rather, can you laugh it off? Can you shrug it off? That will get you in the best place. If you can laugh with your partner, if you can laugh with your significant other, that will really help these codependent ties if they've become apparent. Um, and you'll kind of like know what needs to be done through laughter. So that's a wonderful message. Anyway, Cancers, 15 minutes in, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into your week to week. So in the first week of November, you have Six of Pentacles rooted down by Three of Swords. Again, you know, we've kind of talked about it. That's going to be the week where you see things. Like you're going to see you're going to see the unhealthy aspects of pretty much every sector of your life there. I'll be honest with you, like everything that's going on will be very clear. The way the ways that they're difficult in your life will be very clear. Um, so don't turn a blind eye to this. But also, um, has it been going on longer than you've realized, but you just haven't wanted to see it? That's going to be important. Um, with family, because family does kind of come up a little bit there for me, I feel like you have to soon after this, um, not hold the same grudges. So watch out for grudges. Six of Pentacles is coming up, like rethinking grudges, rethinking um, what people have done to deserve certain things in your life, um, who deserves what, who's giving what, who's taking what. Also, do the people that you're with have what, have what they say that they have? Are they seeking what they say they seek? Uh, there's a sense of fogginess um, around what the end game is, what the end goal is. And that's okay. Um, it might just be nice to combat that with a security in what you're doing. You know, like, what am I doing as a cancer? And what reasons am I invested the way that I am into other aspects of my life? Because I don't want you to be surprised by that. There's a sense of like being surprised at yourself or a sense of being surprised at your own intentions or your own motivations. Because whenever cancer feels pain or has a difficult circumstance, it only becomes difficult based on how accountable they hold themselves. So look at your motivations. Look at why you're in the relationship that you're in. Look at um, why you have the family dynamic or the opinion towards your family that you have. Um, is there something beneath all of that that is only a pattern of you hurting yourself? It, it can be with Three of Swords like that. Um, you know, and, and this could be the week where some of you like have the breakup or have the falling out or have a surprise that's not really great. But also, there are going to be people who show their loyalty during that time. Whenever you have energy like this, like this first half of November, that's when the true people in your life come out of the woodwork. That's when the people who are right for you and who truly care about you emerge. So even though it's going to be painful, um, for those of you who have like healthy functioning relationships and have people who truly care about you, um, that's going to get stronger here. That's going to become more powerful because you're going to see another side of people's loyalty to you, which will be like a beautiful aspect of this. But try to not let the pain of another sector of your life become directed at those people who truly do care because you can really burn out everything if you're not careful. Okay, week number two, Cancer, you have Seven of Cups reversed, rooted down by Seven of Swords, so two sevens. Uh, seven is one of the harder numbers in tarot. Um, five, seven, and nine to me are the more difficult numbers, so to have two sevens together like that, it says to me that there's a bit of discord, there's a bit of chaos, but it's not anything new. Um, cause seven, again, it's getting like heavier. It's getting like further into the progression. Like we're getting closer and closer to the 10. So this isn't an unexpected chaos or discord. This is something that's been building for a long time. And it has directly to do with what you've seen about someone or what you've uh, looked toward in somebody that wasn't actually what you thought it was. So any discord or chaos comes from you requiring something to be something that it's not. Um, so needing a relationship to serve you in a way that you can only serve yourself or needing, um, a career to, um, distract you from something that your career is not meant to. So like you have like a difficult affair going on or something in your relationship and you're like, okay, I'm going to turn a blind eye to that and I'm going to get busy in my job to compensate for that and not really look at that. So definitely look at how you're compensating, look at what people are 
taking from you. Um, Seven of Swords represents someone um, taking it all and running. So could you be in that place as well? Are you carrying too many sharp things? Because I'm, I'm not really feeling the traditional interpretation of Seven of Swords. I'm feeling that Cancer is carrying too many sharp things. So too many, too many things are at stake here, and you're carrying too many things that have like a very sharp type of energy and it feels like a bit cutting like are you taking on the energy of like people in your job who don't deserve your care or your nurturing ways um are you seeing other people in in a lower evolved type of way um it's such an odd message it's not quite come out but i, I feel like it's about to come um you know, do you have a wondering eye? Do you have, um, do you, because because cancer is so loyal and cancer does, does not tend to be that way. And I feel that you don't like actually do anything that you regret, but like, is your mind going to weird places? Don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it. I feel like cancer, like with this Jupiter transition, like happening right in that second week, I feel that your mind could be in odd places and it might be important not to follow through on very cathartic, like damaging things because cancer can kind of see themselves in a very odd place. And this is, this is so like uncancerian and like so different for you. Um, but cancer, I feel kind of enjoys to see other people hurting or kind of enjoys to see other people in a damaging place so they can see themselves like having a desire to be with uh, damaged people or something just to heal that or just to experience that. But that passes, okay? That's so temporary. And it's not going to resonate for all of you. And again, sun, moon, rising sign, like this, this is like such a small percentage of cancers that I'm feeling with that, but it's like overwhelming the rest of the energy. So it's just important to say that regardless of what place you're in, like during that second week, find love and find like find you like look like looking in the mirror it's a good thing to look in the mirror in the second week and look and think like insert your name here like who am i who are you like is this what you represent you know i feel that cancer has to go into an important prominent reflection during the second week and think okay have the desires that i've had recently is that what I represent as a person? It could be. And if it does represent you, it's time to make the appropriate adjustments to your life. But I feel what doesn't represent cancer is to is to represent something that's so different from what you want. Okay, cancer, even I have a headache from all of that. It's so complicated. It's so much. It's so, um, it's so complex. And, um, and I'm not trying to rush myself here. I'm, I apologize if there are like small pauses or anything, but calculating yourself, looking back on yourself, reflecting yourself, seeing the intricacies, uh, and not being distracted from those things by what tangible things are on the horizon or what plans you're making in the future is vital during the first half of November. Such a vital period of your year of your life, the first half of November, the first two weeks, to not make sudden changes, but to understand the intricacies and to understand your reflection, to not be upset at that, to not be um, sabotaging of that, and to not um, guilt trip yourself about that, but to see it clearly and to ask, do, do we need adjustments here? You know, is there an adjustment here? Is the darkness like my calling? Okay, because I feel that cancer has been dark, and I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel that there's a darkness there, and I feel that there's a power that you have received at the end of October that makes you feel more powerful than you felt in a long time. Okay, and I feel that you could make some decisions that you are not proud of during the first half of November if you're not careful. And I would never say that to you all if I didn't feel that strongly, if I didn't feel that that had to be so clarified because I know you're a sensitive type. I know that cancer is a very um, sensitive sign who uh, you have to um, sometimes say things sweetly and like embrace. And I, and I do embrace you. But think so clearly about the choices that you're making in the first half of November. For those of you who are like um, finding your truth, for those of you who are seeing things for what they are and are seeing things for um, the beautiful healing vehicles that they are in your life, for those of you who know yourselves, for those of you who have done the reflection and have made the proper adjustments and have come into a being which is honoring of yourself and of those you care about, of your family, congratulations. What an incredible time 
to push something through. What an incredible time to be able to carry something that is so potent, so prominent, that it changes your life and empowers you in such a vast new way, okay? Not all of you may, may be there, but some cancers are just, you know, shining beautifully in the first half of November by seeing things that might not quite be right or seeing things that are kind of problematic and solving them, solving problems, enjoying the process of solving something, enjoying the process of fortifying and structuring something, of seeing the truth. What a beautiful time to be grateful for the truth, okay? And I'm about to transition into the latter half of November and speak about that. Um, because that is beautiful. That is easy. That is wonderful energy. But um, really think about what the first two weeks of November represent for you. Really think about what's come up and think about who you are as a person. It probably sounds repetitive, but it just is important for me. I'm hearing from my guides that it has to be really made clear. There are no um, uh, subtleties there. There are no subtleties of like, well, Cancer, you could do this. Kind of watch out for this. Clearly, in the first two weeks of November, Cancer, you have to look at your decisions and you have to look at what the right thing is for you, what the right thing is for your relationship, and what adjustments need to be made. Clearly, period, paragraph. <laughs> and that can be such a beautiful, beautiful experience. I'm going to move on so I don't repeat myself 9,000 times. Week number three, Cancer, in November. Finally, we're making progress. We're feeling better. Like, this can start to feel like an evolution that you've been needing for a long time. Ace of Cups rooted down by Knight of Wands reversed. You know, it, it represents energy to me. Also having the sun, again, close to those cards and as your central theme, like you are changing up what you get energy from. This could be becoming a bit less uh, vampiristic for some of you. I do feel that a lot of you have gotten energy um, from others in an emotional way, and the water signs always have to do that to some degree. Um, but you're going to have such a burst of energy in the third week by having relieved yourself of some type of extremely heavy weight in the first two weeks. All of a sudden, through breaking free in a new way, through relieving yourself of a self-proliferated um, weight that you had on your shoulders, all of a sudden, you're so much lighter. You can do so much more. Wow, I have all of this time to um, do the projects that I've wanted to do. I want to do the projects now. I want to strive for the promotion. I want to make my relationship so much stronger. I want to make that other person happy, and they want to make me happy. What a beautiful thing to see in the third week. Don't get, again, too impulsive. Jupiter's just gone into Sag. Uh, Knight of Wands reversed um, could say that you're moving too quickly on, like, a creative project, or you're being a bit haphazard, or being a bit, like, a bit manic, you know, for some of you, maybe just a little bit, but, you know, what can you do? Um, you know, make a plan. Do make a plan. Like you have all this energy, use it to make a structure, make a template, a plan about what you want the rest of your year to look like and how, how you want to see yourself by like the start of 2019. Um, what do you want to do for the holidays? What, what gratitude could you express? I always say with Ace of Cups, a beautiful way to channel that energy is with gratitude. Who has helped you? Who can you thank for that? Who, even if you've had a difficult time with, can you be like, um, you know, I know that things have been difficult, but you really helped me out that day, and I'm really gracious for that. Um, because what you're going to see when you do that, you're going to see that all of a sudden about five or six people come out of the woodwork and do the same to you. You're going to see people being really grateful for you being in their lives. And that's what cancer truly needs right now. More than anything, I feel that cancer needs um, to be reminded of how helpful they are to others, how thankful others are to have them, because you've done a lot for people over this entire year. You have been one of the signs who have really corrected a lot of the macrocosmic karmic situation, and I don't feel like you feel that you've gotten credit You've gotten credit for that. And this is definitely a week where through giving credit, you will get it. And even perhaps if not, I feel like people really making it clear how much they love you. So beautiful energy there. Week number four, you have three of wands rooted down by two of wands, a new beginning, you know, um, I like those lower numbers, like we were starting off um, with the six and those sevens, and we had that three at the beginning, but that's not our favorite three, is it? The three of swords. Um, I'm proud that you're ending that with three of wands. Um, you are turning your back on something. You are um, starting over in some way. You are questioning, okay? And there's a reverberance. There's a reverberance from the first two weeks that you can see that you do have to honor the decisions that you made. So if you really wanted to drive someone out of your life, probably not a good idea to 
try to drive back or to have them reemerge in some way because you might see that all you see is their back, okay? Um, like their back, not, not that they come back, but all you see is their back, you know, like three of wands to me says you're trying to access someone, but the back is turned to you. So <clears throat> when you have that, that can be hard for cancer because cancer, cancer is so loyal that cancer tends to never turn their back on people. So when cancer sees other people do it to them, it can be very disconcerting. What you have to do is you have to turn your back to the turned back and look towards the horizon. Okay. You've had seven of cups reversed. You've seen yourself be punished for looking only towards the horizon. So there's a tendency to want to like look towards people's backs rather than horizons. You've got to see how to do it healthily. Three of wands. Um, okay. This is an interesting thing, actually. Seven of cups is the illusion of three of wands. Okay. Three of wands is the healthy energy of looking to the horizon. The important aspecting of the three of wands is that the individual who's looking towards the horizon has not been eclipsed and has not put themselves into shadow to have what they're striving for it's the most um decorated thing is the individual so the individual is gaining through looking towards the horizon in seven of cups the individual sacrifices themselves to have an abundant horizon so you've seen both sides of that this month but in the end of the month you're doing it healthier and you're seeing how to uh, become more ambitious in a healthy way that's rooted down by two of wands um, this could be a move for some of you this could be a change in aesthetic for all of you or a change in demeanor for all of you I feel that cancer with Jupiter and Sagittarius especially if you have like Sag placements or prominent fire in your chart um, this is such a rebirth for you and it's so beautiful and I so um I so recommend that all of you don't use that first half of November as a basis for what you do, but that you remember what that represented for you and that you change your aesthetic accordingly. So you realize that a certain type of habit creates an extreme tension in your relationship and you don't even like that thing, you know, probably a good time to not have that habit anymore again that last little bit of jupiter and scorpio energy let go of what you don't need anymore it will be harder with jupiter and sag to break habits okay um so really thinking about habitual actions patterns cycles all those things that i talk about so frequently on this channel um it changes in the fourth week and it changes easily and it changes wantingly from cancer the sun is your central theme this is a bright energy this is a new dawn for you i'm gonna have to write that down it's like a new dawn for cancer that might be what i titled the video um new dawn for you um a new illumination seeing the truth seeing the true truth not the egoic truth but the reality and through that knowing how to build yourself within that space Okay, you've got to know what um, the land looks like before you build a house on it, you know, you've got to know what the uh, solidity of the ground beneath your house is, you know, if there's a big illusion about um, what you're building into this, the, uh, the structure will never be sturdy, you know, so you're so that truth can hurt and that truth can be hard, but it's better to know it than to build something and have it fall through very quickly because you enjoyed the process of building it because you didn't allow yourself to see that it was a problem but it was fun to build because you thought that it was like a great situation but then it fell through fell through really quick and it's a lot harder to recover from but yeah you guys get it um definitely watch your sun moon and rising sign this month because i do feel that a smaller percentage of cancer energy really overwhelmed and had to take um precedence in this reading so for those of you cancers who are like thriving more and having an easier time of november have done the work um definitely look towards your sun moon rising sign to find a bit more positivity i do feel that this has been one of the heaviest readings of the month probably the longest one and the most um the most intuited as well um but anyway cancers thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for working so much on yourself you're putting so much work into yourself and really making sure that things go the way that you need them to um if you haven't had the opportunity to subscribe to my channel yet i would so appreciate that your likes and comments make my day and i am on patreon that should be in the center of the screen now if you would like to check that out as well as book a private reading with me you can find that there uh, check the description box below I am on social media if you would like to reach out, but we will be talking soon, Cancers. Much love. Bye.